Good evening, everybody. Sonya's finally feeling like hanging out tonight. I was gonna do the voice, and I'm just too damn tired, so... You get alto, Sonya, tonight. Hello, Snow Leopard. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you for redeeming first as well. Let me get some tunes going here, shall we? I'm... Uh, I apologize if I sound a little... Ugh, apathetic. I'm quite tired this evening. It'd be nice just to relax and chill and, you know. Uh, I was, I was trying to pick what to play, and I've been trying to pick now for, like, Fortnite is still down, I'm bored. I actually had the thought to play Fortnite and realized it was maintenance day, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding. Um, I had planned to play iRacing tonight, but unfortunately, what the... Uh, I just realized I goofed on a setting. Hang on a minute. Loop. My uh, overlay is merely a video file. That's how these work. And I forgot to set it to loop. <laughs> it's been delayed since 5 a.m. Oh, jeez. Well, hopefully they get it up. Um, I was going to just uh, play iRacing, and I can't do that either. Because I don't own any of the tracks for iRacing this uh, today. None of them are really... Whoops, that's not what I want. None of the tracks are really any good for anything I can do, because I can't race any of the cars I have or the tracks that I own, so iRacing's out for today. Um, Fortnite's usually my backup. It's kind of my go-to, and I can't play that either. I could play Genshin, but I really don't feel like it tonight. I'm kind of not feeling Genshin tonight. Oh, what else do I have? See all. What else do I have? I just left it on FH5 until I pick a game, so... Um... Ooh. You know what? Why don't we do that? It's been a long time since I've played that. I'm going to get up and get the disc for this, because it's actually a disc game. Um, yes, I still have a lot of games that are on disc. Let me go get that real quick. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh. What was that about? My monitor just, like, turned off. You have rec test and you're on Xbox? That's awesome. Uh, where is rec fest? Bear with me. I'm across the room right now. <laughs> installed we're gonna play this for a little bit and then i'm jumping into a game i've never played before that's happening now all right i'm gonna play a little wreck fest i have a challenge i really like doing it's really fun and um if i have enough time at the end and i feel like being ambitious you guys can see i also don't forget fortnite has a big update i already did it I have an Xbox Series X, and I have a crazy good internet system now, so... Oh, there's a disc in here already. What game's in the player? Oh, it's 2K. Ugh. I have uh, 2K23 Golf. I'm a huge golf fan, so... Uh. I suppose I should explain. I am... Uh, as, you, as you've probably heard on my videos, I'm gender fluid, and this is my female model. This is Sonya. Um, uh, normally, let me see if I can... Normally, Sonya's up here, and I my, uh, use fellow? this higher I voice. Suck your dick. Ha! No. <laughs> Hello, Ame. Uh, I was just uh, showing Snow Leopard... Uh, let me get it back. I was just showing Snow Leopard Sonya's voice. I'm too tired to really keep it up tonight, but I was, uh, they're new, so... Yes, hello, Ame. Um, I'm not keeping the voice up tonight. I am too tired to do that, but I figured I should at least explain Sonya's voice, since it is a bit unique to mine. Um, uh, I had to... I was actually all dolled up earlier today I when I got home. You bought 15,000 V-Bucks today and you can't even spend them? That's insane. 
I have never spent money on V-Bucks. I take that back. I have twice. But I bought like a little package thing where it came with a skin and everything, and it was so worth it. Okay, that works. Oh. Can I? I'm so not buying that. No. Absolutely not, no. First? No, you're second. Not first. I was here first. No, I'm first. <laughs> uh, Leopard, I should explain. Ame always comes in and says first, even if it's five hours into stream and I've had 20 different viewers. She will come in and say first. That's just Ame. Uh, if you don't know, by the way, Snow Leopard, um, my amazing art mama is Ame-san VT. Um, she did not make this model. However, she will be making a Sonya Live 2D model soon. So, um, but she is the one who makes my, uh, the, the one I did in the very first, uh, video I ever made on YouTube. It was, uh, Henry Ford versus Karl Marx, if you've seen that one. The one where I have the, uh, my daughter, I love you. Thank you, Ame. Uh, daughter and a son, I'm happy. Thank you. Believe me, it brings me more joy than you know to be able to let the female side of me out. Um, it's... <sighs> Being called a girl like that actually just felt really good. I I always feel a bit like an imposter because I am definitely not passable and I'm obviously still a boy. So um, that, <laughs> that felt really nice. Thank you. I, I felt that in my chest. I, that was really nice. Uh, but yeah, I was uh, I was all dolled up earlier today, and it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Uh, thank you, Ame. Uh, but yeah, I was uh, I was really enjoying myself. I got my uh, I decided I wanted to wear my uh, Sailor Venus cosplay and uh, just kind of feel cute and pretty for the night. It was really nice. So I enjoyed myself. It was uh, it was a nice couple hours of just getting to. Dress up pretty and feel cute for a bit. <sighs> Alright. Oh, that's what I was doing. I need to get Spotify up and going here. Ooh. That's a good song. I like that one. We're gonna rock that. I was here first and I'll eat you if I disagree. If you disagree. Hey, Leopard, it's no contest. I appreciate everybody who shows up. I'm glad all of you come and hang out. It is not a contest, and I will not tolerate bickering. We're here for a good time. The rules even say no drama of any kind. Huh. I'm all for a good little bit of banter and joking, but no serious arguments. We're here for fun and having a good time, okay? Sorry, Sonya? No, you're okay, Ame. You're both okay. I'm not upset. Just no drama, please. We're here to have fun and enjoy our, each other's company. I'm not looking to... Uh, I am not looking to have a bunch of arguments. That's, uh... If I can avoid it, that's always the goal. Alright, let's see. It's time to do one of my favorite tests. The Dirt Devil Stadium, the Dirt Speedway. We'll take my speed bird. Actually, I will say I really like the TriStar, but it's not as fast. Oh, here we go. Here you go, Ame. Have you ever seen a uh, game with a... Uh... Ame, I know, doesn't... I know uh, Leopard plays this game, but I don't think Ame ever has. Have you ever seen a combine harvester in a video game? Or a lawnmower? There's a lot of strange cars in this game. Nar, I want to jump inside the harvester. <laughs> Only if it means inside to drive it. No jumping in the guts of the harvester. That would be really bad. Alright, so here's... Here we go. We're going to do 20 laps. And we're going extreme damage. Which means these cars will break. Like, basically like glass. No ABS, no traction control. Stability control half, just because this game gets a bit ridiculous. We'll go amateur. Let's go. Now, the challenge here, 
finish the race. If we can finish this race, the... I see Sonya, I want to pitch my voice up. It's a habit. But yeah, this is the challenge. The race is on the outside loop. Yeah, that's going to be a bad start. Yeah, don't jump in the harvester, Ame. No jumping in the harvester. See, here's the strat right here. We got 20 laps to catch up. I'm jumping. You better not, Ame. No jumping. Oh my god, look at the carnage already. go. Better. Whoa. Ah. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. It's only lap two, but I am. I'm almost leading. That's the lead! Let's go! Problem is, I don't think this car will be able to... Oh, boy. Yeah, that's not good. DNF, I got ninth. Restart it, let's go again. Alright, come on. Size doesn't matter. Well, I... Yeah, I'll just trust you on that one, I guess, there. Alright, we're just going to sit here for now. They're all going to wreck each other. I'm going to wait till the first one. I'm going to give them a one lap head start with the leader. Rebel Rat gets a one lap head start. Alright, let's go. There's already one car wrecked out, but this is perfect, because now I can hit the whoops. Whoa, okay. Alright, that's lap one complete. No damage on the car, we're looking good. We got a lot of stragglers here. Let's go low on the high side. Keep her locked in third. Back out of the throttle. Hit the whoops. I've done this a few times. This is one of my favorite races. Already to 10th in one lap. Keep in mind, I gave them a... No. You twit. Alright, I don't think we're car I don't think we're done yet though. Lurk need to get some cooking drawing done. No problem. Thanks for hanging out, Ame. Have a good have a good night. Thanks for lurking. Have the semi truck if you need something crazy. Ooh, I haven't thought about the semi. I forgot they have that. That'd be a good one. Already up to sixth. Uh oh. That is a lot of dead cars. At a certain point, this becomes less about finding the uh, ideal line and just about trying not to crash into the the mini obstacle course that's been laid out at this point. Oh, 
up to third. Come on, speed bird. Oh my god. What are you doing, man? Oh, shit. No, I lost the wheel. Dang it. Semi is called Doom Rig for a reason. I might have to look into getting that. We're going to back out. 20 laps with extreme damage is just too much. I can't get the car. I mean, you'd have to be perfect. Let's go look at a car here. My cars. Oh, market. There we go. I haven't seen the Doom. I don't have that yet. I'll be honest, this is the car I really want. The Speed Demon. Looks like a Ford Probe, honestly. That looks really cool. It's a tournament thing? Uh, okay. But well, if you have the Xbox Series X version, this is the Xbox One version. So not as much uh, option, I'm afraid. Where am I at with the career mode in this? I got the World Masters. I'm just starting this, it looks like. Civil War at Madman Stadium. Okay. Let's do this. I'd rather have the Gremlin. Let's do this. I'm on the same version. Oh, interesting. I'll have to look into how to figure that, or how to get that, then. That sounds cool. I just, I don't know how to get my hands on that version. So what is this exactly? bone the trick here is just to stay alive long enough ah. no you don't ah my car's about done already though jeez what the where's my motor Oh, well, that wasn't even up. Well, okay, where's the difficulty? Uh, can I not set the... Oh. Can I not set the... Like, what the... Oh, well that sucks, okay. What was that? I hit him and nothing happened. Come on. Crazy tank. That's my... That one right there is my meal ticket. Oh, I missed him. Ah, come on. Right there, right there.
Bro, mutual destruction? Come on. That My car should not have taken that much damage on that. Come on now. Alright, we're gonna go back and we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna adjust the uh, difficulty, because driving at this particular, like, difficulty level is virtually impossible. Gameplay. Controls, advanced. Or is that just the... Can you not adjust that? Uh, they have a crazy harvester called the Hellvester in the tournament shop. Where is there a tournament shop? I haven't seen that at all. I'm going to have to find that. Cost me five damage to his one? What? Why? I hit with the back, he hit with the front. Main menu under the play tab, there's tournaments. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you for the hit tip on that. Yes, let's go! Basically, I just gotta keep my car in one piece long enough. There's only six people left. Here, my next victim. Nope, not picking a fight with you yet. There's four opponents. There's one, two, there must be a third. Yep. Oh, right over here. Well, this guy's still stuck. What the heck? Why does that cost me so many health points? What the crap? There are insane vehicles here? So I'm seeing. That took 29 HP away from me. Are you kidding me? How is this thing even driving at this point? Whoa! I have 5 HP. I need mutually assured destruction. Oh, that's my guy. Yes! I won! Ha ha! Perfect. Alright, that actually worked. I can't believe I was able to do that. Motor City Circuit. Let's do this. Ooh, yes, the Road Slayer. Nice. Oh, it's this track. I know this track. Ooh. Alrighty. You can tell this is definitely inspired by Long Beach.
I don't know this car very well. Driving this is going to be tricky. I have to learn how to drift these corners and drift them fast. gonna hurt him. Six left. Shit, this thing doesn't turn now. Okay, now I know how this car handles. Let's see if I can do anything with it. So tricky. Let's go, come on. He's so fast in that better car. <laughs> Might be cheap, but it works. going full sin. Why is this six laps? This is going to take so long. I think he might be unhappy about me putting him, in, putting him into the tire walls in the penultimate corner. Help out. Okay, I don't have the patience for that one right now. That's going to take way too long. Let's try something different. Oh, that gets me the Road Slayer GT, though. Ugh. Ooh, Demolition Racing Heat Race. Nice. Let's do this one. Yes. Six laps. Got it. Speed burn. Now active. Let's go. 
I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna check that menu you mentioned when I get done with this. All right, let's do it. See if I still have any chance at finishing this. Just the six laps should be enough to weed out people who aren't going to make it. Oh, that's why. Ability control half. I forgot about that. That makes sense. Okay, we'll go there. Let's try that. Go, 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 go. Your notification? Oh, thank you, Sadie. I didn't realize. I guess Violet didn't post that I'm live. I will have to do something about that. Thank you. I will post something about that here in the chat as soon as I'm uh, done with this race, though. I just realized I never changed what game I'm playing either. Yeah, this is Wreckfest. I forgot to update my game. <laughs> I'm actually waiting for the new game, Recreation. Yeah, I'm down. Just buying a car in Carvana first. I'm waiting for that to come out, but... I already got pre-qualified in two minutes. Ooh. And boom. Just bought a car. Ooh. Visit Carvana.com to finance your next car. Okay, thanks for the heads up on that, Sadie. I got it fixed now. Update. Done. Ugh. What? Was it that I mentioned recreation? Has that game got problems or something? What's up? Oh boy. Stop punning for one second. No, no, seriously. That's, that's the game. It's called Recreation. I'm not kidding. That is the name of a game that's coming out. No puns. That's not me being clever. That is just the name of the game. Shit. Okay, hear me out, V8 Go Burr. Yes, you know it. V8 Go Burr. Hello, Mantra. How you been? Not bad. Glad to hear that. I'm doing okay myself. 
decided it was, uh, it's Friday night, I had time to get dressed up and feel a little girly tonight, so Sonya is out tonight, and I thought it was, uh, it's been nice tonight, so. You thought it was a pun? Yeah, no, 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 that is actually seriously the name of the game. I say the name of the game is a pun, but that is just the name of that game. It's Recreation. I'm not gonna lie, with this car busted up, it's really hard to drive it this way. I'm one of the only people who's still running. What? The entire field DNF'd except me in second. I'm gonna cross the line. Let's go. I'm the only one who finished that entire heat. Noise. Ah, been looking into the Platinum Mon for TDU. What is TDU? I'm not sure what that is or what the Platinum mod is. You'll have to let me know what that is. You've got me curious. Test Drive Unlimited. Oh, okay. And what does the Platinum mod do? I've never heard of that before. You've got my curiosity. six into a four-wheel flying drift a lot of parts not a lot of dead cars though like to see it so far platinum on changes physics to be more realistic uh and add a ton more cars including modern and classics nice i like the sound of that already sounds like my kind of mod gotta love the classics gotta love some of the modern stuff and definitely realistic physics is always a, uh, a big plus to a game. Too many tuning variants, so you get the too fast, too curious... Oh, and many tuning variants, so you get the too fast, too curious skyline and so on. That's awesome. I like that a lot. It sounds a lot like the mods you get in, like, car mechanics, Sim, when you do those the right way. That, that definitely sounds like a lot of fun. Plus new houses. In, oh, they have houses in that game? I didn't know that. That's really cool. Sorry if I seem a bit distracted. This race is quite difficult, if I'm honest.
All right, I had to play it safe through there because I saw all the smoke. I'm at 100% health. I'd really like not to mess with it. With regard to this classic experience of open world driving with one-to-one -one scale Hawaii, that's awesome. I need to check that game out. Test drive. It's test drive unlimited. You said. That sounds really cool, especially with the Platinum mod installed on it. That sounds awesome. Learned my lesson last time. It's like the last lap. No need to be ridiculous. Yo, let's go! With 100% health, let's go! Uh, from 2006-ish, so we don't expect graphics. Oh, that's okay. It still sounds like a really fun time having all of Hawaii to run around, though. Like a old-school version of, like, uh, what uh, the Crew uh, Motorfest is now. That sounds awesome. Twelve laps? Are you kidding me? Oh boy. Car, come on, car. Nobody behind me. Nice. Next triple car I'm going to have is Zhang Yun. Then it's Gao Ming, C6, and Farina on a third rerun. Nice. I just C6 Jinyan last night. I was very, uh, very proud and happy with myself. Someday uh, we'll get a. Uh, I haven't got any five stars yet, but I did see six my Jinyan, and I'm very proud of that. Once I upgrade and I'm able to uh, ascend my world so I can get to level 90 characters, Jinyan will be my first triple crown. Best girls getting good care. The Crew Motorfest is the worst game, not gonna lie. It was okay. I enjoyed it, but it was certainly not one I'll be looking to buy, I don't think. I was going to look into it because we were. I had heard tell we might have some, uh, like, time attack races and stuff on there, but that ended up not being the case. It wasn't bad, but like I said, it wasn't my favorite. I'm with Sadie. Motorfest is just kind of okay-ish. I'm not going to hate on it, but I'm also not going to sing its praises either. First Crew was the best. I liked the first Crew... I'll be honest, I didn't play much of any of the crew games just because it really wasn't my bag. The crew really never was. I liked the story of the first one. I thought it was a fun aspect to the game, but when it came to the actual gameplay, it was kind of eh. All of the crew games like that really have been. It's just the arcade. It's like playing Need for Speed. The driving engine just ain't there, you know? Eden Games Maker of the New Crew Series and Test Drive Unlimited. Oh, okay, interesting. Said, I don't mind the new crew, like the storylines, but there really aren't that many. It's more... I miss when games had a bit of a story mode you could follow along to, you know? I really enjoyed that back in that day. That was always fun. Oh, shit. I wasn't watching where I was going. No! That didn't go well. Alright, the car really doesn't seem to be hurt all that badly from it. Uh oh. Ow. Yeah, I, I did. I do miss racing games with stories. Like, uh, my favorite was, even though it was, albeit little, Pro Street was an awesome story mode. That was worth the three points to wreck that person out. 
But, like, I really enjoyed the story of Pro Street, the story of Need for Speed Underground 2. Like, they were fun without being ridiculous. I don't want a Fast and Furious storyline where I'm saving the world, but at least give me an enemy to fight, somebody to root against or root for. I love being put in the shoes of Ryan Cooper in Pro Street, being the, you know, having to be the man, be Cooper. That was so much fun. Test Drive Unlimited doesn't really have a story. It has progression by earning money, buy cars, houses, and move up classes. That still sounds cool. At least there's some progression to it. I still like a story, though. I won't hate on a game that doesn't have a story if it's good. But I I prefer to have a story if I can. That's much, that's much more fun for me, is what I think. Need for Speed Heat was a good story. It wasn't bad, but it was too much about taking it to the cops. And it's like, I... Technically, as Forza Horizon, you have me as your rival. Yeah, that's canonical, but I don't get any cutscenes like that. I want some fun cutscenes, you know? I mean, yeah, it's more about exploring the island to find new stuff, and I'm okay with that. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't hate on games without a story. I just, I like ones that do. I appreciate them. I think that's a lot, lost a lot. Uh oh We can ask Roa to make us comics. We probably could. That would be... I should. We should have, like, uh... He made one of uh, me and Viri when I did my driving school with her. And it was uh, from Initial D. Seriously, this is my opponent when it's, uh... Rios... Or, uh, it's uh, Keisuke versus what's, uh, what is originally going to be Kenji in his S13. Probably the ultimate Sunday Drive game. I'm, I like Sunday Drive games. I like Forza for that. It's not a Sunday Drive game. It's a Saturday race game. And it's fun. Jeez Louise. Ladies and gentlemen, my only remaining opponent. Right there. In the rammer. Then there's me, the Dirt King. Yeah. Yeah, you were killing it last night with that Smasher, I won't lie. We got the car freed up. Nice. I don't even know where this guy's at. Oh no. Saved it. Let's go. All I have to do is finish this lap. Come on, car. No. I did not just do that on the second to last corner. You've got to be kidding me. It's fine. We're going to finish. We're still going to win. I'm far enough ahead. Whoa, there he was. It's fine. He was a lap down, so no big deal there. Because I still win. Let's go. You. Oh, I had two laps down. Wow, that was close. Whew. Comic is drifting a snow leopard. Oh, yeah. That would be cool, too. Alright, so that one's 400. I need 3,600 points. Oh, wow, there's a lot of these. Those are two thousand. Oh, right there. Type big rig. All right. So that unlocks at a thousand, I see. We're going to do this. 
This is a lot of different laps, but I'm okay with it. Let's grace. Just imagine entering a street race against Sonya and he's riding a snow leopard. <laughs> that would be very interesting, wouldn't it? Wait. Stiff. I don't want that. I got the, st the suspension stiffened up really well on this car. Oh man, 12 laps of this? Are you kidding me? Call it a Hellcat the way it purrs. <laughs> That's certainly one way to do it. Thanks for the scratch. Bruh. Gotta commit it. Come on, cart. This is getting to be ridiculous. That was close. Come on, car. Boy, this is a minefield of cars at this point. I cannot look away from the road right now. There's so much debris, and it's changing every single lap. Like, just like that, right there. Whoa. Ninety-eight percent health on a car that runs good. Woo! Nice try, buddy. Lol. Force him low into the car and they'll crash themselves out. Uh -huh. Whoa! You gotta be kidding! Are you seriously? All right, well, it's an easy cruise to the finish for me. I'm the only car left running, and I've got 88% health. I probably could have been a bit more aggressive. Victory lap. Let's go. I'm the only person left running. All right, that was a good run. And that was an upgrade too, nice. Or a uh, level up too, nice. Ooh, oh, it's this race, shit. All right, time to tune it in. All right, we'll go race this one. This is gonna take a few minutes. We might be settled in for a bit. I just realized I'm not in a Discord call. Discord's open if anybody wants to join. I forgot to join in earlier. I planned on being in earlier, and I just forgot. Tune. Here 
we're gonna go extra soft because there's a lot of big bumps in this. We'll keep the shortened gear ratio. I'm gonna lock that rear diff up a bit more. And let's go... We'll keep that brake balance towards the rear. Let's start it. Where are we going here, boys? Are we kidding right now? Bro. This is not a real race. Is my car going to be good enough to race after I get through this mess? Don't you! We're restarting this. Dang, I hate this one. Hey! Fortnite's back up. Awesome! already trashed. I have to find a way through this field that's better. Wait, I think I might have just found my line. Straight to fifth. Jump to that inside line. Jump to that inside line. Through the whoops. Pass them, pass them, pass them. Hold on to it. Ride the drift, because only you can. Whoa. Nice, okay. Ow. Yeah, that was my bad. It's fine, no real big damage came from that, so we should be good. Piece of junk. Oh my god. I mean, my car doesn't seem to be all that hindered performance-wise. Maybe I'll be okay. It really did a number on the bodywork, but the actual, like, powertrain seems to be okay. Awesome. Oh wow, this is already a minefield through here now. Jeez, Louise. What's the situation on this side now? Bro, this is going to take forever. Why is this 12 laps? This is some unnecessary endurance racing stuff right here is what this is. Holy crap. Actual crap. And I expected to navigate this absolute disaster. At least the corners are freed up. That's good.
It is lap five, and I'm doing this. Am I resorting to this? Yes, because it's faster. Almost 20 seconds faster than last lap. Poor brother. Which one of these cars is the one that's in my way? Probably the most. I'd say it's pretty clear now. That should work. That's one of the guys right there. That's one of the remainders. Move. I'm just tired of him moving all the time. If we get to the last lap, I'll take out the last guy. Oh, shit. Ah. This car. Wheel up, wheel up, wheel up. Nice. Now I should have a clear path through, though, which I like. my best lap of the entire race. Really? I suppose when I can attack the straightaway at full chat and not have to be fearful of anything, that does help. Come on, car. Two laps to go. B, B, Hi, Sadie. Did you turn off your ent door chime entry thing? I didn't hear you come in. Oh, um, I think that's your, uh, your uh, stream mode. Uh, also, guess what? what? Guess what I got? Guess what I got? I added a lot more sounds. Guess what I got? What'd you get? Is that a Discord? Hey, more... More door chimes. If you, if you, do you know that one? Uh, that is Volkswagen. Nope, this is Volkswagen. Is it the, oh, it's Audi, isn't it? Nope, this is Audi. Old Audi. I thought it was old Audi. No, the first one was actually BMW. Bimmer. Okay, I was I was right thinking it was German. How about this one? Early 2000s General Motors pickup truck. God damn, you're on the dot on that one. That was an 03 Suburban. I own a 2002 Avalanche. My dad drives an 05 Silverado. Yeah. Okay, you won't guess this one, though. Okay. All right. No, I've never heard that before. <laughs> 
Yeah, that one is a Rolls Royce. Weird. Yeah, I've never yeah. been in a Rolls, so that makes sense. I wouldn't know that. You've never one. maintained. You never maintained a high end vehicle. No. Say, so, do you know what high end vehicles are in my area? Probably you're, like a you're Lexus or something. Oh, you're fancy if you have like a Lexus, Acura, yeah. and you've got yep. big bucks if you drive a BMW. Yep. We had one yep. guy come That's in in a Mercedes, is. and I'm like, holy shit, this guy's rich. So, if potentially we move to Las Vegas, your average customer base in a European um, service shop would be Audis, BMWs, and you could range up to Lamborghinis and Bentleys on a day. Jeez, that's insane. I don't know how to work on any of that stuff. That would be a problem. I have no idea how to work on anything <laughs> yeah, Euro. Yeah, I was going to say, if you could dismantle a V10 from a mid-engine vehicle, I'm pretty sure you're pretty much set. Yeah, we, we, of, we turn uh, away anything stuff. European at our shop. We turn it away. Yeah, that that's going to be new for you. Yeah, I'd have to learn how to work on all that shit, because I have no idea how to work on any of it. Well, I mean, like I said, it, it's going to be a whole new experience for you in case that we actually get to a track where we could actually get somewhere. Yeah, for sure. Hot take, though, ideally, if we move to central Houston where there's an LGBTQ friendly neighborhood that could also work. Quite possible. I was actually all dolled up right before stream tonight was really fun. I enjoyed that. I don't get to get dressed up as much as I want to, and it was really nice getting to be a pretty for a bit. I had my Sailor Venus cosplay on, and did some makeup oh. to match and stuff, and just felt cute for a while. It was nice. I'm going to say, you know what's funny? What? How are you feeling right now? Um, relaxed. Happy. While you're racing breakfast. Yeah. That's Suki. <laughs> You're not wrong, it is. I was gonna do the voice, I was just too tired tonight. God, oh, don't worry about it. I, I... It, it, it helps me feel more like Sonya than anything. But you're right, uh, it's, uh... It's like, it just, it, it helps sell it in my head better, is what it does. Makes me feel gotcha. more, it makes me feel like more like it. It's like, that's just what helps. Oh! Oh, see, dude. I'm not... Uh. So, here's the thing, right? So I was playing Grand Theft Auto, and, um... I was playing Grand Theft Auto last night, right? Yeah. And, um... I saw, like, Vincent... Who was uh, who was that one employee back at the Diamond Hotel Casino? He got fired. Okay. So he became a cop. He got he became a cop instead. Interesting choice. Um, I got a contact from him. I got a contact from him and said, "Okay, uh, okay. guess what? We're gonna raid a uh, a cocaine op from uh, Cluck and Bell." Like, why a Cluck and Bell? What? What the hell did they do? Yeah, you heard me. They they run a they run a um, they run a drug joint. I was like, okay, well, shit. Now, what we're we gonna do? Well, first of all, we're gonna get some weapons. We're gonna get some of this ammun ammunition. It's like we're gonna we're gonna hijack a train. It's like we're gonna hijack a train. Yes, we're gonna fucking hijack a train. So everything went according to um, everything went according to that, and. Uh, I just went along with the ride, right? Yeah. And, um, at the end of... Uh, the thing is, the hardest mission on that was actually stealing the getaway vehicle, out of all things. What'd you have to steal for a getaway car? Well, I got stuck with a fucking coil Raiden, which is the Tesla Model 3 of the uh. game. 
Yeah, that's, well, unfortunately, that's I rough. have two choices. Uh, the, the the sucky cho the, they're su they're all sucky choices. One is a, a, a jeep the, the the Canis that's being airlifted with four uh, buzzard uh, buzzard attack choppers that are guarding it, or a low rider. I'd have taken the low low all day long. But that's not our. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, that would be a little trickier. Yeah. So, I decided to go, fuck it, I'm, I'm, I'm only going to steal one car. Because, holy shit, stealing one car out of the three is already hard. I believe it. <laughs> so, I took the car, got it to the garage, you know. And then the other mission was, okay, now we have to steal the weapons. I pissed off three factions. I pissed off Merryweather, I pissed off some gang members, and I pissed off some professional outfits that are in the yacht. Yeah, that's bad. Guess what? Guess what came, uh, guess what? No, that's after me the entire time when I was doing this. Merryweather? All three of them are, yep, Merryweather, the professional outfits, and the gangs. Jeez. So I'm being tailed by a lot of people, so I'm like, well, I don't want to be anymore, let's just, Go get it done. No, Got it done. It. And then the, the final one was, uh, okay, sure. We're going to go back to the cartel. Sabotage their truck. Sabotage the cartel's truck. And then everything went according to plan. Got the final mission. And um, I basically raided their factory. I basically raided their cocaine factory. I, I raided everything else. Uh-huh. And, uh, hilarity ensued when, um, okay, I got away with everything. I got, I got away with the, all that, right? And then I'm driving back, and I still have my three, I, I, I still have my five-star one level, of course, it's five-star one Right. And then, um, I got a, I, I, I drove back out, and then, like, when I was on the clear of the factory, because, like, you know, Fuck this! I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go deal with this. I got. I was on the clear of the factory, and then I got a. I, then all of a sudden, my three stars just. The five star became three stars, and then it's just you know blinking as if like oh, okay they're looking for me. Okay, it's like what the hell happened? That's and then Vincent gave me a call. Vincent gave me a call and said, "Well, guess what? The cops are in the, uh, the cops are uh, against the cartel. The cartel is actually having a war with the cops. <laughs> so they're distracted with each other while I stole all their cocaine." <laughs> Well, that worked out okay then, didn't it? <laughs> and at the end of it all, I got five hundred thousand dollars. Heck yeah, kind of like that. So I will ask you if whenever you download GTA Five up on your PC, I want you to play this with me. Okay, sounds like fun. Because that's five hundred thousand dollars in your pocket, and I am not. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I, I love the tasks that are over here. Honestly, the only thing I'm missing now is uh, Yusuf Amir's um, facility because they've introduced uh, impound bots. Which is actually a uh, trade-off operation. Okay. So what you're doing is importing and exporting vehicles off, off their natural trade value. Oh, well, that's cool. In case, yeah. So what you're essentially doing is just kidnapping some cars out off the street. They're not they're not outsourced, and you can sell them. You can sell them. From uh, Southern San Andreas Autos, and see if they if they sold that's directly to your pocket, which is essentially like the car's trade trade price, which is like what. So say if you sold a uh, Sultan RS, you say you sold the Sultan RS, you sold it for they sold it for like eight hundred thousand dollars. You get about three hundred thousand dollars off your profit, and uh, five hundred thousand dollars goes in the exporting business. So that's passive money. Nice. I don't like that. But one facility apparently with the tow truck, because you need a tow truck, cost us so much money. 
It's okay. 1.5 million credits. Jeez. That's probably why, if it's a high cash flow kind of thing, that makes sense that it would cost a lot of money to get into. Anything profitable always costs money to get started. I'm going to restart this Clucking Mill Raid because I actually like it. I know what to do now, so... That helps, too. Call the mission called the Slush Fund. Well, they call it the Slush Fund because you're basically taking counterfeit bills. Ah, that makes sense. This is the hardest race sucks. I've done to this point. It's a figure eight race. E... You can't just avoid other people. You can't race clean. You're stuck getting hung out to dry going through the through the crossover and just praying you don't get hit. Understandable. Luckily, I've still got 75% of health left and I'm on lap six of 12, but... My car is starting to drive funny, and that's not going to help things. Keep your pace consistent, and I'm pretty sure others will crash first before you. Well, the problem is, is a lot of the others are already started crashing out of this event. So the track well, is now littered. The wrecks. Well, I say it's littered with wrecked up cars that don't disappear, so... The timing the other two the other cars is getting a lot harder. I don't know how many are still left running, but it isn't many. Oh, come on, car. Like, speed isn't a problem at all. I'm faster than everyone. I just cannot get through the... That crossover is so hard to avoid getting hit on. Nice, I'm starting to catch up to the pack. I'm not crossing over with them now. There can't be but maybe five cars left right now. How many people? Yeah, there's four cars left. My Speedbird, a Roadcutter, a Panther RS, and a Wild King. Everything else is already done. Be willing to bet more of those drop out in the next two laps. Coming up on one of them. Yeah, the one guy just ran into a parked car. Which one of the buffoons is this one? Ah, this is Pony Cracker, fourth place. Ha! I crashed him out! I just ran him wide and made him hit the wall. Down to three. One of them's behind me, one of them's ahead of me. No crossovers required. Go well, my fabled Sultanaris. That I wasted money for. <laughs> I wasted money on like three things here. Like I wasted money on Progen GP1, but they took that off of the legendary autosports. So you're glad you got them now. Yeah. The only reason why I got the Progen was because someone dropped it in my auto shop and says, oh, I could finally buy it. That helps. Tarmac. 22% wood? There's wood on this track? What? Okay, this is weird. Stiff suspension. Differential, we're going more limited. Gear ratio stays. Everything else is good. Let's race.
steal the cash. Steal the money laundered ca illegal cash. God, this track's fun. I like this. This track's fun, Sadie. It's got a lot of, like, wooden features on it. So the car, like, slides almost like it's on ice, but not quite. The wood has a very interesting grip characteristic to it, and it's quite fun. Mm. And there's also a loop-to-loop, -loop, but it's easier to not run... Oh, shit. Hopefully that didn't easier mess. Easier not to run it. Yeah, it's e you can just bypass it really easily. Shit, I just got T-boned in the left front wheel, and the car don't handle is good now. Track just got considerably less fun without the handling. There's only three people running at this point, anyways. So at least you're playing single player. Not multiplayer. Yeah, if I was playing multiplayer, it would be a bad day. Multiplayer in this game, especially with this damage model, would be absolute hell. I'm not gonna be bothered doing multiplayer, public multiplayer lobby on freaking GT, but that could, that could go fuck itself. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, let's do the second one. And we will do it on a race car. Oh, I'm the only one left running now. With four to go. 
Everybody else has crashed out now. At least I know where every hazard is going to be now. That's handy. None of these cars are moving now. Let's modify the AK. The AK is like a stock AK. What game is this? Grand Theft Auto. Oh, right. I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could put on my Connor Price playlist right now, but I know the whole VOD would get copyright strike, so I'm not gonna. But I really would do one of. How do you think I? How do you think I feel? How do you think I feel every time I play Grand Theft Auto V? Yeah, pretty much. It's just copyright strike after co like, it's not. Yeah, copyright audio just muted, and I can't exactly publish it. Like, bro. Yeah, you just gotta keep the radio off, which kind of sucks. But I mean, what do you do? No, even the radio is off, like, when you go inside a store, then that's the issue. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. You could probably get into the settings and mute music. You can, but... Uh, then you go into, like, a nightclub, and then it's like, why is it quiet? True, I mean, for streaming purposes, though. Yeah, hopefully GTA 6 can do that automatically. Shout out to the one game I played that was, like, streamer-friendly and had a copyright-free music option. I can't remember what game that was. But it was fucking awesome. My very last lap with a wounded car was two seconds faster than my previous lap from before after finding a better line. Hey, I just got a new vehicle. I just unlocked the one I've been waiting for. Nice. Let's go! Actually, you know what? It's time to upgrade. Let's go upgrade my cars. Upgrades. Boy, parts are expensive in this game. Big yikes. Ah. Oh, I have a sport. Nice, I just got a cylinder head for free. Heck yeah. I love I I don't have hardly any armor on my cars because I focus on speed. I kind of run the JP strategy from... Uh, uh, yeah, from that game. Or from that show. Speed Demon. Nice. How much is this car? 25 1? Sold. Oh, no, that was Oh, that's the next one. Sunrise Super. It's the Datsun 240Z. My cars. Oh, I have the big rig now. Cool. Jesus. That is colossal. Upgrade visual. Hurricane. Hmm. Uh, what 
looks better on this car. We'll do that. You are busy. You change locations. And you're probably in a different arcade now, huh, buddy? Where are you? So much. Put that on my car. All right, armor. What do we got? Honestly, just gonna keep stock. Don't really need a bunch more armor on this car. I'm looking to use it for racing. I like it how they have a uh, Le Mans um, R89C in this game. You could that you could change its look and modify it to make it look like a Jaguar XJR um, XJR12. That's cool. There's like two modes. Like you got the R89C, you got the XJR12, and you could also make it look like the R92. So you have like three Le Mans cars all in one. Heck yeah, I like that. Did you at least checkpoint me? Or am I supposed to start the mission like where I left where, right on the beginning? Because that would piss me off if I have to start the mission right at the beginning. Okay, good. I'm starting where the train is. Oh, that's bad. This is Bone Breaker Valley. A twin figure eight that is uh, basically set up with uh, you have to run down the center of the track Pick left or right, circle around to meet in the center, and then jump back down the road everybody's coming back down at you at. Ah. Crap, they put me in the wrong car. That sucks. I got it. All right. Let's see how the old speed bird does. Struggling just for your customers to notice you. Your business needs constant contact. Constant does contact it though? Does my business need constant contact, Spotify? Stand out 
or do I care? And see big results. With powerful tools like email, SMS, social media, and events, you'll say the right thing uh, at the right time to sell more, raise two. more, and fast track growth. Plus, everything's backed by Constant Contact's expert live customer support. So get going and growing with Constant Contact today. Try it free at constantcontact.com. Plenty of laps and plenty of crashes yet to avoid. Whoa. Muted? Oh, never mind. No, hi, Ame. How's it going? I'm not muted. I was just racing, so I had my hands full for a minute and wasn't chat. I wasn't talking for a second. Sorry. Ah, how's your artwork going? What are you? What are you drawing tonight? Ah, that's not good. Okay, yeah, we're restarting this <laughs> race. That's hilarious. He put, I shot him with a flare gun and then, uh... I shot the guy with a flare gun and just punched him in the face. Oh, jeez. My D&D characters. It's good, but I decided to restart. Oh, okay. I mean, why do you have to draw your own D&D character? Couldn't you just go to Genshin's uh, official website and get a picture of Tainari? Ha, ha, ha. No, you, you laugh. She she told me that's where, where basically who her D and D character is is Tainari. My Tainari is different. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's fair then. I mean, I'm just going off what you told me, so. He's heavily based off. Heavily based on Tenari, but they are so different. Okay, well, that's fair then. I didn't know. I was just making a joke because I knew you had said that before. And I'm like, lol, I can make a joke about that. It's easy pickings. No one's stopping this train, motherfucker. Oh, shit. That's not good. Car's okay, though. We're really low on health now at lap two, but if we're careful, we might be just fine. Or I could go and hit the wall. But not get along. Tainari is a nut... My Tainari is a nut job? Oh, boy. What is with you and liking the insane, Ame? You seem to have a penchant for that for some reason. I'm not sure. Not that there's nothing wrong with it. It just brings out my curiosity. It's my type. Apparently so. I've noticed that seems to be something you uh, gravitate towards in design and character building. It's interesting. If I was a psychiatrist, I'm sure that would mean something to me. But since I'm not, I just find it interesting. <laughs> I rammed a lot of people with my tree. I caused a lot of explosions. I think a character would make a good boyfriend. That's nice. That's always a nice feature to have when you're making a character like that. I would definitely... If I was making a D&D &D character, I would definitely uh, have a girl who was very much like the girl I would want to date. I would so have that. Basically, just make my dream girl my character. Ame um, so GTTRPG win. <laughs> Invite all your friends. If I had enough time to 
get into something like that, I think it would be really interesting. I'm just so busy all the time that I know I would never be able to commit to something like that en uh, with enough time to do it justice. Otherwise, I would look into it, because it sounds fun. Bro, we could stream it. True, we could. I'll have to give that some thought, because it would be interesting. That's number three. Say, Ame says, Sadie, get it on the VTuber TTRPG. I'm still waiting for somebody to actually say something about that. To actually say, like, oh, we we could totally have a D&D session. But think, apparently nobody has the time to do so. I think that's what she's saying. In my de debut, I said I wanted to run, uh, run a VTuber TTRPG. We should make it happen. I'd be down to give it a try. I just... I have no idea what I'm doing, so I do worry about that aspect of it a little bit. I've never need, done one before, and I know time. nothing about it. How you long does it take? It. Normally, a session would last about four hours. Seriously? That long? Wow. Yeah. Dang. The, the lesser the people, the better uh, the... Better the uh, the better the story flow. So you only want a handful of people then? Yeah. Yeah, mine are usually two to three hours. Wow, that's insane. Mine's about three to four hours. I've never even played a video game RPG, much less a TT RPG. Goes Tables by so fast. Are fun. Really? Huh. Yeah, it goes by pretty fast so long as the, pl the plot is cohesive. I'm sure if Ame was holding one, she'd go through and make sure it was a good one. I will say, the, the, what I do enjoy, even though I've never played before, the uh, Dungeons & Dragons, like, TikToks and memes are hilarious. It's like, where are, What are you doing here? I thought I told you to... I thought I told you to distract the enemies. Oh, don't worry about that. The bards got that. It says, like, the shape-shifting bard, and it's just a giant teddy bear breakdancing or something. <laughs> Those TikToks and the, uh... I cast Vicious Mockery, nat 20, let's fucking go. You're a short motherfucker and nobody likes you. That's my entire exposure to D&D. Other than, like, Ame and other people I know who've talked about playing it before. That's all I know about it. I love world building. I could teach you. It sounds interesting, Ame. Let's DM me more about that. Let's talk about that. Oh, I also need to talk to you about the other project we've got going on. Not the Sonya model, the other one. I have an update on that. What project? Oh, you just between you and Ame, okay. It, it'll come to light eventually. I can't... Sh I don't know if I can share it quite yet, but... No worries. Uh, I can... Oh, yes. I hope it's what I think it is. Yes. I think I'm ready to have you teach me how to uh, start doing my part of it. Because I know you have your part, and I have my part, and we have to... Guess? <laughs> uh... Time to piss off three factions of people. Yeah. Let's just put it this up. Uh, let's just put it this way, Ame. I'm fairly confident in what I'm doing, so uh, welcome to the show. <laughs> ah. What the hell is this track, bro? It's a almost a full circuit loop. 180 degree turn and then a full circuit loop back on the same path. I'm so hyped for this. I'm actually pretty excited for it myself. I think it's going to be really fun. Ow. That pissed off the wrong. <laughs> I 
need some more firepower now. Okay, I can't drive this car that way. I don't like the differential being full open. I'm so yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm really excited too. I mean. I think with a couple of the other parts, uh, Sonya might be able to pitch in as well on a couple of the pieces that I have to do. I think that might be useful if I do it right. Bro, are we kidding? I know what you mean. Yeah, the, uh... Right before the, uh... Yeah, like the main uh, change, yes. I don't know if I can do that or not, but I can try. I think I can't see you through there. Oh. That sucks. Beginning. Yes. Yes. Not for... Not for that one, though. The, like... I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I don't want to give it away. I'll tell you later. Okay, that's one. Okay, the military is pissed now. So, now it's time to piss up the professional equipment. Sounds like a problem. I'm here to. We, we do a little trolling here, uh, Soji. taking my McLaren 570S on it. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Not really. I don't have cover. <laughs> oh. I mean, there, sure, it's low, but... There yeah. is that aspect of it. I'll give you that. Oh, my God.
car. Too much drifting, not enough going straight. How many cars are left running still at this point? Like what? I think there's only three or four cars left running at all. Sounds good, lol. Awesome. I just hope it works out the way I want it to. I think it'd be cool if it works. But I'll need your help for that program. I have no idea what I'm doing with that. Yeah, down to three of us now. Nice. The other player's out. Let's go! Now it's time to clear this track so I can run fast and hard. off the professional outfit. Now they're after me in the chopper as well. Oh boy. Fun. Where are you with the chopper? Okay. More than nice. Clear track. Now I can just race. Hey. Can't catch me. Can't catch me. <laughs> uh oh.
I cleared the track off so I can just run fast laps now, and it's totally worth it. an interesting call with my insurance agent today, Sadie. What happened? Well, they told me the price of what my insurance was going to be when I renew it at the end of this month. I renew it every six months. She told me the price and I about had a heart attack because it doubled. What happened? I don't know. I asked her, I'm like, okay, I switched to you guys two or three years ago because you cut my bill in half. I'm now, with that price... My, my bill had gone up a little bit the last year or so, but, you know, 20 bucks here, 30 bucks there. You know, it was it was changing, but not anything catastrophic. And, it, you know, it came down 20 bucks, it went up 30 bucks. It went up 20 bucks and came down, you know, 15 or whatever. I'm like, okay, prices fluctuate, whatever. No big deal. And then this time they tell me my price, and I'm like, it's how much for the same amount of cars? She's like, yeah, it's this much. I'm like, that was only X amount before. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. She started looking into it. She's like, I'll try to rewrite you. Okay, I can rewrite you and get your price back down to, uh, more than half of what it was before. Like, so I went from, like, okay, these aren't, these aren't the numbers, but this will be easy numbers to understand it. So we'll say I was paying a hundred bucks a half. And they, uh, when I called this time, it was like two, two thirty is what it was when that call. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm like, that's a lot. So they went back in, redid it, and they got me down to like one oh two or something. I'm like, okay, close enough for jazz. Like, how did you guys get that screwed up in the first place? That's what I want to know. pissed me off. I bought A-Dog's wife's, uh, ex-wife's car now. A-Dog had to get a divorce, I guess, so uh, I picked up his ex-wife's car, and I hate it. I had to go down and get license plates for it today. My few pet peeves. I love paying for permission to use the things I own. I was a little cranky about that today. Choppers, they keep spawning. That's always frustrating. Chopper, how you take down today? Come on now, stop it. All right. Not gonna lie, kind of feel bad now. It was an AI driver named Rancid Kitty who was still running, 
and I came to the finish line and crashed them out because they had they had lost their drive. The, they broke an axle, so they couldn't move, but the car was still running, so they were still in the race. So I crashed them out, and uh, yeah, it ended up uh, knocking them from second down to twelfth because they didn't do very many laps. Aww. Luckily, it's AI, so I don't have to feel too bad about it. And that's how you probably piss off three factions in Los Santos. Yeah, no kidding. You've been good at that here, listening to what you've been doing tonight. It sounds like you're staying busy. Oh, it's Dirt Devil again. Oh, boy. Took off all their weapons, and I'm just here, just vibing. Even what? Time to piss them off even further. Oh boy. Like I said, we do a little troll. Might as well have some fun with it, I suppose, right? Probably getting used to having your other, the other half of your back is fixed now, so it's probably getting used to having it back. Yeah. No pun intended there. It's, it's, no, I just, understand. Oh, it's just, holy shit, it's all the the sensations all new. Which is understandable. Oh, thank goodness I got out of that hacker lobby. Well, regardless, if you need anything, you know I got your back. Oh, someone dropped off a vehicle. Deliver that. What did they drop off? A freaking Thrax? They dropped off a Thrax? The hell's a Thrax? Um. Uh, Bugatti. Diva. Yeah. Oh, interesting. That's a heck of a vehicle to just drop off. For maintenance? No kidding. Wait, you can do vehicle maintenance in that game now? What the heck? Yeah. You, you deliver it to a client. Afterwards. That's, well, key. That's cool. Side valve, vented side Trim secondary trim. So it's just the whole monotone. That's terrifying, doing a hundred mile an hour jumping four-wheel drift. That's the initiation speed for a four-wheel jump drift at a hundred miles an hour for this track. Dropped off a Devo, I decided to trick out said Devo, and now I have to drive two miles for said Devo to deliver it. 
Although, I don't know if the customer's gonna be pissed, though. Because if the customer's pissed, they could deduct your uh, commission fee by, like, up to 5,000 credits, which is not bad, but I'd rather have a bonus than a deduction. I get that. Because that's why I usually go over the top of the modifications, so that way it is a gamble. But, you know, if the customer's happy with it, I'll take it. Hey, if you're gonna do it, you might as you might as well do it right, right? Problem is, I did it all wrong. Well, I, I okay. Here's what it is. I there's a checklist that you have to fulfill, and if you fulfill said checklist, then uh, you can deliver the card. If you don't fulfill the checklist, then you can't deliver the card. However, I went beyond the checklist. I added more stuff to it. Oh, okay. Like went the extra mile. Which they probably would or would not enjoy. They either want exactly what they want done or they don't want it done at all. Yep. That makes sense. Well, they're, the items that are in this checklist, that I've already fulfilled it. That's what they want done. However, I went more than the items. Yeah, you did more to try to appease them. and Some people want it, some people don't. Yep. Makes sense. Let's see if I get the bonus. No, it's just regular, which is fine. They have a race card. At least you didn't lose. Yep. All right. Now time to some people. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, so you choose for me. Uh, Renault, McLaren, Porsche. Nissan or Mercedes. Renault, or Porsche, Nissan, McLaren, or Mercedes. Or Jaguar. Nissan. Nissan, okay. I have my Remus, the, the S13 that I have, my little S13. Nice. I've been relying on for a while. So that's I'm gonna use this mission. Next mission this is just my S13. The big oval, let's go, nice. Being chased by Kennedy, Sledgehammer, and Greasefinger.
This is gonna be a hard one. I'm gonna try to attempt to steal the one from Merriweather. Oh jeez. Right, right. Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. Sounds like what I'm doing between all these wrecked cars. Ooh! All right. I basically stole a Humvee. A military-grade Humvee. Heck yeah. Oh, they're gonna come after me with military grade Humvees. Or are these APCs? Oh, they're APCs. Eh, don't care. switch games, play a game of Fortnite. According to Snow Leopard, Fortnite was back up, so... <laughs> what? Oh! That's why I can't shoot. Because the back of this thing is concealed. Okay, I get it. What the hell is exploding in the back? No idea. Wow, their menu music is over. Bearing. Really loud. Thanks for the push. Waiting in queue for one hour. One hour? What? That's what it says. I'm waiting in a queue for one hour to get into Fortnite right now. Ain't no way. Oh, wait, no, because there's maintenance going on. Yeah, Snow Leopard said they were able to get back in, though. Weird. Whatever. Uh, um... 
Do I want to play another game or? I'm kind of torn. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. Screw it. We're going to try something different then. I still got about 30 minutes or so before this I get This guy's really sticking on to me. Are you going to separate anytime soon? Because we're already half a mile out. Okay, good. Shit. Well, there went that controller. I was going to go eye racing tonight and didn't work out. No races that I have the cars or the tracks to. I still don't have all the stuff for eye racing, and I'm, I can't afford to just go and buy it on a whim, so. It's my one gripe about eye racing. It needs more tracks by default, or they need to at least run consistent races on tracks that are free. That way people can play. Never played this game before, so now is a good time as any to give it a go. I realize I've been wearing shoes all night because I was going to be sim racing, and I don't need them now. Ooh. That's weird. That's going to be my getaway vehicle. Screw that. I I'm gonna. I I'm gonna go get away with this shit, dude. I'm not gonna go get up and get anything else. That's a mammoth patriot. Military spec. Oh, perfect. That could yeah, go. You're, you're golden. <laughs> I can have a fast car or fast car that has a. Fast car with the. What do you call it? Good morning. Fast car with a lot of armor or. Fast car with a lot of armor or a slow car with just. Huh. Or another slow car with. Style, which I don't really get. Now time to sabotage the cartel. As if I sabotaged them already enough. But this time I need to do a perfect stealth. Because I've been messing up on my stealth stuff. use the Nissan. Which one do you want me to use now? Uh, McLaren. F1 or 570S? Uh, why don't I go F1? Dexterous little shit. Dexterous little bastard. It's actually the smallest car in my library. What? Sadie, I just found my new favorite character creator. What? Code Vein. 
่ะโอ้ดีเอ็นดีคาแรคเตอร์ครีเอชั่นโน้ตจัสต์ในเจนเนอรัลไม่ใช่ใครในเดอะมิดเดิลของรูปโอ้นั่นเพราะฉะนั้นโอเค The stupid stash. What? It's being blockaded off by another mission. That's unfortunate. That's fine. Another 10k out of my pocket. Hopefully, without. Like triggering a cop. Sadie, what is that noise? Hmm. All I can hear is this metallic ticking. It sounds like you're giving Wally a hand job. Oh, my controller. Oh, Sorry. okay. I'm <laughs> like, all I can hear is tick, 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 tick. Like, what the hell is that noise? I don't care. I just look like started. it was funny as hell. I I find it weird that that's registering in my microphone. It's registering really loud. Bizarre. I know, right? Like, what the hell? I have my crisp on too. Okay, so it seems like the mission's blockaded off for now. Because I think it doesn't want me to exploit the mission too much, which is fine. For now, then I'm gonna go do my nightclub promotions. Sounds sounds like a plan to me. This character customization is insane. Like what? Down to the wire, huh? You meant the boob size? Everything, and I cannot express to you how much everything means. My black eye. Oh, I want this one to have a red tint to it.
imagine throwing out someone out of the nightclub just to increase his popularity by one bar. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, time to freely promote this thing. I feel like that should change, but I don't know to what. That looks really cool. The good thing about like closed crew sessions is that you can do your promotions by yourself without getting worried about getting blasted by someone in a deluxo or like a what are those flying bikes? Which I do have, but oh, the oppressors. You know. yeah. There's another five million dollar jet you could buy. That's a that's a military grade jet that's faster than the Raptors, Jeez. or the lasers rather. That's insane. And it's a VTOL plane, so you don't you could literally pick it up anywhere, and it's gonna take off. And it's smaller than a helicopter. <laughs> Damn. So if you have a hangar, you could customize that, which is so stupid. I'm having way too much fun with this character creator right now. Ooh, okay, that's what that is. This is fun. I like this. So many cute options. Sonya is having a heyday with this. I love it. There used to be this one upcoming game that is featured like Genshin Impact, but has like the physics and free room exploration of like uh, Spider Man, basically interesting concept it, it was promising way too much to the point that the like it was promising way too much right and then like i joined their discord server and all of a sudden like the server went silent 
And this was two years ago. Uh, that sucks. So basically everyone got scared. Everyone just basically got conned. So. Your doll cracks. There's another gaming controversy going on right now, apparently. What what is it on this one? Um, they want to make all the games like have baby difficulty sliders as a law pass. Uh so, that seems you can't bit... release like Dark Souls and all that stuff. It, it, it it's basically the opposite of uh, the. Yeah, it's the opposite of uh, Stephen He's when Asian is a difficulty. Yeah, but they just don't want that. They just want to have like a difficulty slider, so that way it's easy for everyone to access and make the game easy for everybody. I suppose you could, but like, why? Yeah. I mean, I could guess that where they're approaching that kind of mythology, but like they, they said that they want to remove hard as a difficulty, which, why? <laughs> Like, yeah, that's kind of the whole point of why half the people play it. Like, you know? Not that we're masochists, but, like, you know, it, it's the, the point is that's how the game works. Yeah, it's kind of the entire, like, point of games sometimes is to be a challenge. change that? Oh no, it just changed it. For me. Okay. Alright. Back to peak popularity, and now we could actually exit out of here. I'm gonna call my Mercedes instead, because my McLaren's all the way over there. You know what Mercedes cars I got in my garage? No idea which ones. AMG 1 and the C9. Interesting. You know the C9? Can't say I do, no. Come on, Soji. It's my favorite car. Wait, it's the, is that the Sauber? Yes. Oh, that one. Okay, now I know it. Took me a minute to get it because I wasn't quite sure what what you were talking about off the start. But once you said that, I'm like, oh, now I get it. Yeah, not a lot of people know about the C9 because all they're focused about is like the sedans and the coupes, and then you got the AMG one, and then you got the AMG GTR. I mean, they do know about the CLK, but they don't know about the CLR. Like, people keep confusing about confusing which car flipped over. Is it the CLK GTR or is it the CLR? It's the CLR. And I'm like, bro, but... it's the CLR. I say, I thought it was a CLR. Yeah, it's the CLR that flipped over, not the CLK. I thought so. God. Yeah, there's some people that are ignorant like that. <sighs> Why isn't the mission showing up? I'm gonna need to reset my game because the mission isn't showing up. Oh, 
So I already promoted my nightclub and all that, and my mission isn't showing up. Do you have work tomorrow, by the way? Me? Yeah. Yes and no. Mm. That's a loaded question. Yeah. I work like every day, but <sighs> in particular tomorrow, I have to do some errands for myself more than anything. Gotcha. Sweet Jesus, marry me. My cat ears. Yes. The amount of colors in this game are absolutely astonishing. I like it how his name is Vincent Effenberger. Is it really? Yeah. The dude's name is Vincent Effenberger, the one that's helping me with the raid. His name is Vincent Effenberger. That's funny. <laughs> Apparently, Code Vein is like basically anime version of Dark Souls. Don't tell me that. I had my hopes up. It's a great game. I've seen a lot of people play it, including Guru. Oh yeah, but I'll never be able to do anything with the game because I'm going to get my ass kicked. Don't be afraid of getting your ass kicked. I'll never get to see the rest of the game. I'll be stuck on the entry level forever. You know how depressing no, you that is? No, you won't. You I will push you on the... I will push you to do your best. I sure hope so. Sadie, the character I'm making, I swear to God, like... I need this woman to marry me. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm you, serious. You want a Xinyan in your life? But kind of. It's like, this is like if you threw Xinyan, a dash of Kuki, um, a lot of Sonya, and a splash of like just about every thing that gets me going uh, all in one and it's like I am absolutely in love with this so far mm -hmm. it is so freaking cute alright now time to do even more disorganized crime <laughs> oh and I can get cute glasses Get a nice, I can get necklaces. Oh, yeah, the there's a car here, uh, called the Peno La Carousse, right? Okay, it, it, it it's the Renault Maxi 5 Turbo, right? 
Nice. And, uh, well, it's electric, first of all. It's not... It's not too nice because it's electric, but... Damn it! it it's hilarious because, um... Reno looked at it and they almost got sued. Really? Oops. keep using this color palette called Gangsta. And I think that's hilarious. <laughs> I can get fingerless gloves. This is easily my favorite game I think I've ever played with customer or character customization. I can have gauntlets. Hey yo! What? All right, now time oh, to assassinate everybody very quietly. You know your girls having gauntlets. Hell yeah! I can get leg gauntlets. Yes! Let's go! Where's this gangsta one I've been using? There it is. Exactly what I need. Nice. I might have to go and get rid of the. We're getting rid of the sunglasses. I'm sorry, we're getting rid of the sunglasses. This is too cool. Oh, what? How much cool stuff are they gonna give me in this game, bro? Like, what? a kitty tail. I have a kitty tail. Yes, let's go. I'm going to have to get rid of some other customization, too. Finally got rid of those cameras. Shut the fuck up.
Ooh. That was close. Nice. Didn't alert anybody. Kinda like that. Dude, why do you keep drilling? Ah. Uh. Everyone was fucking like I was trying to get the um the shits and then like you know it, it the, the the drilling process didn't work out. What the fuck, man. I hate when that happens. See, this is really kind of my style. I really kind of dig this outfit. Can I change the colors on it? Ooh, I can. Nice. I've kind of grown accustomed to that outfit. I really like it now. have to kill all of these guys again and I need to make sure okay is everyone dead okay everyone's dead all right I'm gonna need to make sure that all the new witnesses over here that's ever coming out I didn't even say anything. No, not you. I know, I'm kidding. That's the wrong way to do that. Oh, what? This is a flawless job op. And the good thing is, nobody knew what ha nobody knew what happened.
Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, you, you have to use a purifier mask in this game, Sadie. And they have some, like, really strappy, kind of, like, maybe uh, a little bit more uh, suggestive options. Like an entire, it's like, it goes over, like, your chin and cheeks, and it's this really aggressive metal frame uh, that definitely doesn't have, like, just a full-on leather BDSM collar. And it's <laughs> under my locked collar necklace, which I am in love with. I'll pay you back somehow. Man. Hmm. I, uh, I, I can't steal any more money. Darn it. Oh. Ah! Did we overdo it? I'm going to sabotage these trucks. Fun. What? That voice. I know this. Hang on. I know this voice. Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Hi. Don't give up. I'm feeling a bit tired. Phew. How about a break? I'm sorry. We might be outclassed here. Uh. <laughs> Come and try me. I'm getting bored. We can't give up now. Do you need a break? I'm not sure about that. You're always reliable. Goodbye. I'm gonna say no. Don't worry. I'll pick. <sighs> I'd like to rest for a moment. Whoa! Whew. You're pretty good. I shouldn't have slipped up like that. Let's do it. Hmm. And nobody knew what happened. <laughs> Talk about abject vandalism. Whoa, there's so many different bases to start with. What the? Steal the flatbed with the cluck and roll crates. Ooh, I got hey, an extra one. Yo. Oh my god, I'm in love. That is so freaking cool, dude. Oh, this one has a kick on it. What the fuck? Talk about a really quick acceleration. I like it how I got the extra objective done now. Because I didn't get detected. That's good. <laughs> get Whoa, fucked. What? Have you ever just traveled fast in GTA without crashing to a vehicle from point A to point B before? No. My average trip requires the use of at least four cars. Because one of them keeps crashing? No, I keep crashing. Uh... I've gotten back down to, like, the average of, like, two, uh, one or two now. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice.
Since you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power, try it out. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. That's the final prep. Okay. Hey, Cartel didn't know what hit him. Uh -uh. Because nobody knew what happened. <laughs> that blood code is known as Ranger. Oh dear. That weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weapons. Try switching to a bayonet. Is what is called the caster blood code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. Jaber's range of the power. Let's see. Try learning another gift. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk all the way over here. Good. Really? You made all that noise and you still get, didn't get detected? 
Damn. That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? Are you guys gonna come back in here? Excellent work. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood coat has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood coats, but you can acquire new ones as well. Cool. The strength of others can become your own. A talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. I need to get in and edit my character height. I made her way too loud, way too tall. I mean, that guy's just guarding over there. Good. Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? No alerts yet. Which is good. Over there. Hey. Ooh. Stealth mission's doing good so far, Soji. What'd you say? Oh. Stealth mission's doing good so far. That's good. We can go slowly. We don't have the tool for that yet, but I'll clear out the rest of the army first. If I can clear out the rest of them, they probably have a home Just stretch a advantage. We're all right. A spring will slake our thirst. Are you walking here? No? Okay, good. It seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring nope. that will cure You're that not gonna thirst. alert them. One that weeps to no one's gonna life. alert anybody. No one has to know. That's what they said, anyway. 
This way. Every single enemy has been dealt with. I don't have to deal with that. Just need to get the crowbar. Not that. So it is you. Got a silenced pistol, crowbar, several other equipment. Still not out of the woods yet. Here, this is we need for to you. basically get the rest of the cocaine and then uh, skedaddle out. If I don't get detected and if I don't get the police detected and involved, dear God, I'm I'm fucking solid snake. Okay, what did you? Uh... What did you say you were you were a transporting? And a fresh source of labor. Uh, cocaine. Uh. <laughs> she don't lie. She don't lie. She don't lie. It's time for a bit of fun. Cocaine. cocaine. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, I pulled up the lyrics just for that, by the way. There's nobody here. Nobody was alerted. Nobody saw anything. Go ahead. Keep it down. Your friend just fell asleep. It's one bad. Number three and four. Check the gear. Come up. Are you going to kill me too? And you that's too kick, right? Just don't crush my heart. Stop already. My body may still be alive, but my soul died long ago. No one could stay sane after dying again and again and again and again. Don't take my memories. My family. I have nothing left. There's no way we're gonna find blood beads. The missile's all dried up and the miasma keeps getting thicker. Telling us to look for blood beads here is just crazy. Let her sleep. She wore herself out watching over you. Looks like the folks upstairs want you. Well, they can wait, can't they? More importantly, that mask suits you. Without those things, we Revenants will join the ranks of the Lost in a flash. So be careful. The view never improves, does it? You came back home and... The view never improves, does it? You came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist? Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. Oh, this place sucks so far. Wandering, they say, the folks up there. They might live in safety. But because of their levy, we have to risk our necks to collect blood beads. Just you wait. One day, I'm gonna make thralls out of a whole lot. Three twenty six sixty two. Damn it. What the hell are you 
staring at? This one's dry, and my asthma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right, I'm on my way. It's now I got in trouble with the cartel. <laughs> yeah, that's not all good. All dried up, just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's. <gasps> I'm gonna you know end up being in trouble about. anyway. Oh well. Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there! You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. You heard him. I pissed off the cops and I pissed off the cartel. What's next? <laughs> hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Oliver Collins. He's friendly. There's no way. He doesn't die. Well, should we set out? Okay. What do I have for weaponry? Sure, I can wait. I don't really have any other good weapon uh, stuff right now. <laughs> the two trucks crash into each other. <laughs> That's not good. seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. Or so I've heard. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start, so we can just leave them. Well, did you just 
Oh. Yeah, I love it. Uh, and the cops are just confused with the cartel. Hey, yo. <laughs> You can be recovered through use of regeneration. Rest in your rest will refill your regen stock. Oh, okay, this is the tankard for health. Number of regens, amount of HP can be increased. Okay. Got it. Wow, an AI partner who's actually helpful. The hell? I have to dish that thing and leave the scene of crime. Let's show him. That wasn't a total stealth mission, but at least it's something. Could have been better, right? Yeah, probably. Wooden boxes. Usually he's in your position when he does. Let's see, he's gonna be. Oh, okay, so it's souls. So don't lose your shit. Which way do you think is better? This way. Huh? What's that? Clean iron. Like this way was the right path. Who knew? What's that doing there? I like it how uh, the cops of level five give you could basically they're basically them chasing them like Hellcats. Kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, the, that's a new patch. At level five pursuits, they will actually get you chasing around the faster vehicle. That's Is there nice. something good in there? Oh, finally, I have a better weapon. Okay. Oh. Sh Okay. Nice. I'll let it help have the way it turns. <laughs> Way the ways away to get the get the other one. Yeah, I'm fine, but really, <laughs> that wasn't very convincing, was it? These masks are the old type, hard to breathe in them. How are you doing? That girl, she's your friend, right? We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick.
look out above us. I have to sell my McLaren F1 if I ever need to actually get more money. Because that, uh. Yeah, let's purify the missile in the area. Build a map, you're surrounded. Purify missile, activate a missile. Purify a rotten missile. Defeat the lost that infected. That infected with a rotten missile. Should we go this way? Hmm? What could that be? Ah. Is there something good in there? Will that come in handy? Blood veils. Just got my first new blood veil. Nice. Queen Slayer Claw. Blue Hound. Highly resistant to status effects. <laughs> Sly Fox. I got an a, a word called Sly Fox. <laughs> oh. Dang. If that ladder was down, we could get up. Down here. Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Could have gone better. I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. You just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. Of three hours before my uh, shit. We spins. Oh, as in that's how you parry, okay. Have you ever just unironically, like, uh, played blackjack at a casino or no? No. I don't go to casinos. Ten. Blackjack immediately? What the hell? Okay, that's a... This is a cold table. I'm gonna wait until it becomes hot, so... Drop to seven. Uh, 
Okay. I made a profit of uh, 500 chips, which is good. That's good. So 11k for that part. What about it? No, for my, me buying the parka in the game, it requires about 11,000 chips. Because I, I, I like this one parka that the, uh, the game is selling me for the day. That's cool. Heck yeah. I like that. First, let's make up that $12,000 difference. That way I don't have to worry about it. What the hell? So when do they have ranged weapons? Oh, I get it.
Jesus Christ. This game is insane. I've never played anything quite like this. I died. I get the feeling I just hit the wall I won't be able to beat in this game now. Keep trying. I want you to actually experience that, those kinds of games because sometimes, like, you know, there are challenging games like those. It's just a hurdle that you could accomplish. Wait, did I knock him off the side? I think I just got really lucky. Queenslayer Thorn? Oh, that sounds cool. Ah, oh, it's... it's Interesting. <laughs> it says all types of gifts. to sit here and rest again. <laughs> oh, I'm forgetting to use my gifts. What was that? to fight you or are you friend are you a fellow explorer it appears you're alone i'm on my own at the moment too but i was hoping for a partner for the path ahead what do you say would you mind working together at least until we're through here don't worry i'm not gonna stab you in the back my asthma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is right. thanks a lot i'm glad to work with you Always fine to have an extra pair of helping hands along with me. The more the merrier. Good to be with you. come into here. I can't. There's no way I can beat all of these things. We're going the other way, stranger. Let's go. I am not going that way. Sorry. We're 
We go this way. Virtually no health regeneration now. God, I suck at this. There needs to be some missile around here and soon. Wanna head up? I mean, we kinda have to there, dog. This is. Love the character design. It won't take long. I hate the. Gameplay itself? Well, the Souls style thing. I struggle with these. Finally, missile. Now I can rest and recover. Perfect. Acquire and inherit gifts. Light. Passive light active. Gift type active. Forget it. We'll talk later. It's strange to see a cave connected to a building. I would have to agree, it is strange. <laughs> this place is tight. Watch out! Ah. Whoa! What was that? I don't know what that ability is, but it's really cool. I forget I have to lock on the people first. You wouldn't come back after falling down there. Did you pick up something we can use? God, I hope so. I swear, these taxi missions are actually helping me, like, practice uh, 
traffic dexterity in GTA. Because <laughs> if you crash on something, your fare would go down. It is good practice, I'll give you that. Good. Just like that. Ah! I do not understand parrying. I press the button and nothing happens. When the attack happens, um... When the attack happens right in front of you, in the middle of the frame, you press the button right when the frame happens. Like, frame perfect? Essentially, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm never going to successfully parry anything if I have to be frame perfect to do it. No, don't, don't, don't say that. You can do it. Ah, shit. Parrying, parrying's oh. a learning tool. That's okay, I just fell off the edge anyways, so... I can't even... No, pairing, pairing is a learning tool, like in any kind of uh, RPG. If you learn it, you master every RPG at that point. Even Genshin at that point. Well, that would be good, because, uh, yeah, I'm... Review of our tactics might be in order. Oh, I ran right past here. Whoops. It's open. Finally, I got a better sword. Uh, it's actually worse. Checking your equipment. I'll keep watch then. How is that worse? What? That's better. I was gonna say too is that if you master parrying in that game and you have Beto unlocked in Genshin, you could literally showcase 1 HP Beto. What is that? What does 1 HP Beto mean? Don't alert them. But you finish a world boss with Beto on Beto with 1 HP left. Wait. Oh. And did kill it. Because her ability is literally powered by parrying. That sounds crazy. Yeah, the stronger the attack, the more that Beto will toss back. Huh, didn't know that. I did it before, and, uh... Watch your head. Holy hell. Also, the weaker Beto HP is, the more the parry returns to. So that's why you have the 1 HP runs. And she's built on health. If you have, like, 49k health on Beto, you'll basically deal a base damage of 49k. Huh, interesting. Obviously, it scales on attack as well, so... That was well hidden. anything mm -hmm. together until oblivion listen to partner conversations 50 times while exploring okay good that's light from the surface I think I'm hitting my first boss. That's not good. Don't say that you can't do it. You can do it. It's happened to us most uh, Soulsborne players. Um, the first boss is the, lear the learning experience of how the game works. You have to take everything you learned and put it in, put it into action. Okay.
Parrying didn't do anything. And now I'm gonna die. Oh shit. Wait, I changed weapons. How do I change back? There's like a weapon, uh, not really, not necessarily a weapon meal, but like there's a, there should be like a, like a hot, hot swap. Dead. Wait, how did I not die? What? Dead. And it's over. Now I found the place where I'm going to get stuck permanently. Don't say that. Oh. Gotta keep trying. I will, I will continue to try, but I will be stuck permanently i'm guessing this no is, no this don't is the say same stuck permanently this is the same thing that happened when i played the original uh yeah the original dark souls when i tried this getting attacked i you should be you should you could do it i got stuck Keep saying that and i never got past it <laughs> i'm getting i'm taking damage from like low enemies that shouldn't be hitting me at all I'm taking heavy damage from them. I can't figure this system out. I try to parry, it doesn't work. The only thing I can do is attack full force and pray they don't hit me. That's my only thing I have coming at me. Well, I was gonna say that uh... Unfortunately, that's how most of the modern day like Soulsborne games work. They all they all they all have parry system. They all have uh, counter attack system. Yeah, I haven't counter attack out. systems tend to be the stronger. That's one. But yeah. The counter attack system tend to be like double the damage. Did you pick up so once you, you learn parrying, use? you deal double the damage. You don't have to worry about anything too much. Oh, it's up and down switches weapons. Got it. Yeah, I just I wish I Watch could. I wish I knew how to parry or counter. Parry just does nothing every time I touch it, and without parry I can't counter. So I'm pretty much just stuck. got stuck in the boss for eight hours before I figured him out. I parried. It didn't do anything again. Did you get damaged on the parry? A lot. I tried to parry. It did nothing. Again. Okay. Parrying is useless. It does not work. Okay. That needs to miss the frame. I, I've... I can't hit the frame. It's not there to hit. I'm going to die again. I am not good enough to play this. Yeah, I'm going to have to give up on this. I'm not going to be able to finish any of this. I have no health left to use. Oh, Jesus. That's all that did was give me 90 health. This is the entry level boss. Dead. What? How am I alive? What? What did he do? 
to save me at all. I don't understand what just happened. Full frontal, full frontal. Dodge! Dead. Dead. Game over. Okay, I'm throwing in the towel. It's already 1 a.m., and if I continue to do this, I will be in a box six feet under before I beat this guy, so. Ugh. All right, well. I'm telling you, you, I'm telling you, you can do it. If you're ever going to touch that game again. As much as I love the uh, as much as I love the character design, I don't know there's a point in playing anymore. I'm never going to get past that. I'm it's I'm just going to play the same section of this game forever. Don't that's, say that. That's really depressing, but I'm not going to be able to beat that. I can't this is the same thing I ran into with Souls. There's the Taurus demon. No matter what I tried, I failed every single time. There was no glimpse of hope. I've got another character who's helping me through this. And I, he's doing half the work, and I still can't get... He's doing 80% of the work. I can barely land a hit without taking 900 damage and dying. I genuinely don't think this is beatable. Some people are masochistic enough to beat it. I just don't think I'm skilled enough. I don't think it's anything about taking the punishment. I just don't have... I can't... I have yet to do a successful parry. Or a block. I can't even block the attack. I just get hit. There is no block. It doesn't work. How do people play this? I don't get how you're supposed to beat a game you can't beat. Extreme patience. And... If you first do don't succeed, try and try again mentality. What happens if you never succeed? You keep saying that because that's not the try and try again mentality. I suppose. I guess I don't. This is you why try I try once and you give up. That that's the that's the attitude of it. Because the thing is, when I played Armored Core, it's the same experience. So these games are just designed to make you fail repetitively virtually forever until you get lucky. Not even lucky. You learn it every time you fail. I can't... I'm not learning anything. I'm just dying. Nothing changes. I try different... I can't parry. I can't try to, like, dodge. I just get hit and die. None of the other tactics work. None of them have any... They don't have any effect. I just get stuck. You'll get to you'll get you'll get to learn it. You will get to learn it. I suppose I need to be in a better mind state for this then, because I don't. Because the thing is, like I said, I don't it handle took me failure eight, well. It took me, mind you, the very end of chapter one boss in Armored Core took me eight hours, and the very first boss in the tutorial level took me three hours. I'm going to struggle with this because the perfectionist in me is absolutely reaming my ass for not getting this right on the first try. Oh, well, that is really hard. There's to no take. such thing as first try in Dark Souls games. I a didn't... lot of people learn. A lot of people learn through failure. I didn't in realize this was Dark Souls style until I started playing it. But I'm like, you know what? I'll give it a chance. Maybe this time it'll be different. Uh, it's the same story. All of them are the same. Damn it. That sucked. I like this game, too. Don't get too excited now. Well, either way. Remember, Roa, Roa learned how to manage Armored Core pretty easy, so... Uh, I guess I better put in a couple hundred thousand hours to learn this, then. It's going to take a while if I want to get a successful parry in. Don't Ugh. say 100,000, just... It will take you only a couple of hours, okay? I hope so, because I really want to play this game. This is really cool. This is... This is like Dark Souls, but anime, and I really like the style. It's really cool. I just hope I can figure it out. I've never had success at this game, at any of these style games before. Either way, I'm not getting out of the call yet, but I am going to call my stream for the night and 
end of that side of it at least. See if there's anybody on to read. Nah, not really. I'm just going to end it. It's quiet tonight anyways. Alright, well thank you guys all for watching. My name's Sonya. Have a great evening. I'll catch you on the next one. Good night.